you led qualifying after day one, you lead qualifying after day two. On a pattern that is not playing terribly uh, high scoring, what is it that's working for you? Well, I'm really, again, more strategic play this time around. I'm watching the people who are scoring very well and, and just trying to get an idea of how I can play my game off of their line. So really hit a few pairs that you score really well, hit the 250 games, and then just try to get by with the two O's. I'm sure that uh, as a bit of a perfectionist, that you, there's still some things you, you see that you need to be doing better. What, what do you think needs to happen for you to get where you want to be? I do. Um, today, I was one of the pluses for me was I got out of the gate a little bit stronger. I shot 2 in the first game compared to my 170 yesterday. Um, I think if I can keep up with the moves and just try to see the, the lines and angles, I think I can do that and play my game the way I always want to and score really well. One more day of qualifying and then match play starts. How, how do things change when that, when that happens? When match play occurs, you know there's only 24 ladies. The lanes are going to break down a lot slower. We rely on our own games to break down the lanes. Um, I think it's going to be challenging. There's going to be some really great matches. Bonus pins come into play, and a lot can happen in 24 games of match play. And you have won this tournament before. What is it about this tournament that, that makes it so tough to win? It seems like there aren't a ton of repeat winners. The U.S. Open, again, it's the longest format. It's a grind. It's those 48 games, just like the TSC when we bowled against the men. Um, and I, I really think that the cream definitely rises to the top. It's just challenging to bowl that many games in a short period of time. So, again, the, the better bowlers just seem to, to make it there. We talked uh, a couple of weeks ago at the Queens about the fact that you were hoping that 2010 would be kind of a signature year for you. Already, obviously, very successful. Would this be kind of an exclamation point? This would definitely. If I could win the U.S. Open again in this year, 2010, um, exclamation point, icing on the cake, fireworks, every galore there is. It's just it's been a magical year.